Good evening from the shores of Liberty Bay. As you can see behind me, the investigation is continuing well into this 4th of July. Life is usually a little slower in Paul's bow. Today, no different. So slow, a moment in time was preserved. The moment when the annual fireworks celebration was interrupted. We saw people running and we saw these young girls crying. A chaotic, confusing scene. I'm going to get back. All unfolding in front of dozens of people, including small children. Okay, Customers, people said they heard gunshots. They weren't sure because it might have been just fireworks. Cleo Levine was working near the waterfront park late last night. Someone was not breathing, not moving. It was the end result of what Paul's Bow police say started with a man threatening a large crowd. When he was approached by police, there was a struggle, and at least one shot was fired by a five-year veteran of the department. The man died from the injury. Today, detectives scoured the scene looking for clues and video, saying they're still trying to sort out all the details on what led up to a night that people who were here will not soon forget. The name of the person who died has not yet officially been released. That's the story for now in Paul's Boat. Chris Daniels. King 5 News.